Welcome to the Art Studio with your host, Valerie Ashton. The Art Studio keeps you in the know about artists and art and is your source for information about shows and tours in Richard Stouffville. Every year, Latcham Gallery has a juried show. On Monday, artists from all over Ontario dropped off 191 works of art. With me today are the jurors who have spent most of today deciding which works of art will be in this year's juried show. I'm talking to Sarah Breveridge, an artist, educator, and independent curator, yeah. Todd Tremer, an artist and instructor, and Oleksandr Lysenko, an artist and curator of the Station Gallery in Whitby. Okay, you have spent all day looking at this art. You've managed to get it down from 191 pieces to 28. What is your criteria? I, I'm assuming you sort of go in stages. So what would be the first criteria? How would you start deciding what is maybe going to go in and what is not? We started off going through the sort of the critical mass of works and just going through it very quickly saying yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 no, 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 no. And if there was any doubt or debate, then, then we would just leave it in and then wait for the second. Yeah, we sort of mm -hmm. did the negotiation later. That's right, yeah. And it is a team effort that in terms of the process and how we decided to, to move through each work originally is that the three of us are looking at one work individually, looking at it for its own merit in terms of technique, in terms of concept, and then making a decision yes or no, and then moving on from there. We tried to keep that first stage, or that first, um, yeah, first stage really quick. If an artwork had an impact, and it, then it stayed on till the next round, mm -hmm. and yeah, we we uh, whittled it down in uh, I guess there was probably th three or four stages altogether. Yeah, certainly, the second and third stage was a lot more negotiation yeah. and discussion, and sometimes yeah. taking a work out and then bringing it back in and having some debate, discussion about the piece, yeah. and then making the final decision. Yeah. I mean, it is often extremely difficult because, again, in terms of each area or background that we have, then you might be supporting one and somebody might be not supporting that one. So again, in terms of a group of three of us, then there is often uh, the one that is maybe a no and the other two are, are yes. So now, how would you decide? Like, what is it you're looking for in the art to decide whether it's at least going to make it through the first round. I think it comes back to something you said earlier, Alex, about the contemporary. Something that has a that has relevance to the let's say twenty twenty first century. Something that we're looking at the works and wondering whether or not this is a work that could have been made, let's say, thirty years ago. Would works like this have been submitted thirty years ago, forty years ago, fifty years ago? And are there some works that have more resonance with today? with who we are living in the 21st century and, and having that dialogue with art that's being produced right now. Yeah, it had to go beyond, it had to be technically good, but it yes. had to go beyond just sort of good technical drawing or painting. Yes. It yeah. had to be something sort of original yeah. and meaningful, yeah. conceptually yeah. engaging in it. And it's always nice to get a nice mixture of, of artworks, uh, so it's not just all photography or not all painting not all watercolors, so we, we were, we're oh, yeah. we tried to keep yeah, it up Yeah, I tried to really make sure that yeah. in terms of what is represented in those final 28, that there is a diverse representation of the work that is submitted in terms of materials, and that uh, I think also in terms of, for example, the works which we won't reveal now, but in terms of the <laughs> award winners, but uh, is that there is a real certain honest and genuine quality to the work that resonates through it both conceptually and materially. Okay, so there are award winners. Personally, I'm looking at this thinking, okay, you start out with 191, <laughs> then you got to get it down to 28. Now you have to pick the More best honorable mentions. Some honorable yeah. Mentions yeah. Well. out of those. That seems pretty, a very daunting task to me. <laughs> it was very interesting, and all three of us have done this before. We've, we've juried other exhibitions in the region and in the area. And I think for all of us, there was, this is the first time I think that we we're all unanimous in the order, the first, second, third, uh, and fourth prizes. Which was a surprise to us. It was very yeah, surprising. We, we thought we were going to, yeah, we, yeah, we thought we were going to have to start 
debating. <laughs> You know, I set up yeah. some chairs. That's, that's right, Sarah. Set up some chairs <laughs> for a while, but yeah. we all wrote down. We did sit during that process. Yeah. It was a sort of a and silent. And wrote down our yeah. selection of yeah. what we felt warranted sort of first place, second, third, and honorable mention. Yeah. And, and we were actually um, so all Sarah on the same start, page. Yeah, Sarah hmm. starts reading her. Okay, so here's my first, second, third, and fourth. And Todd and I are just looking at each other and looking at Sarah, and we're going like, here it is. This is exactly our choices. So we were all unanimous. Hmm. Uh, so we didn't need to debate those. There was two works that were chosen as honorable mentions as well. Yeah, we, we debated felt. more with where they like sort of that that group of six. What would yeah. get into the four? And That's what right, would, top four. What would be sort of the given honorable mention? We had a lot of discussion with yes. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But That's then true. yeah, it was strange that we we all decided first, second, third, and a fourth right away, no problem. So yeah, we had a kind of a conversation around it, looking yeah. at it. And, and so there yeah. really is a mix of work that's represented and also in terms of the styles that are represented. I mean, some of the work is very abstract based where others have a more kind of classical <laughs> style, again, in terms of the mediums. Um, there's a strong presence of portraiture, representational work as well in and throughout what was actually yeah. what came forward. And a variety of sizes too. We've got yeah. some really big pieces and a couple of smaller, quite small, intimate pieces. Yeah. Different types of presentations as well. Some are, are framed and matted, others are unframed, but very well presented, uh, very professionally presented. Yeah, certainly um, we, we did think about in the, the initial sort of present, looking at sort of deciding what would be in the show generally presentation and it didn't have to be necessarily framed but they had to be professionally presented so, mm -hmm. they, they, so there's a couple of things which were a little hard to hang actually which we, we didn't end up selecting so that's something you take into consideration yes yeah it has to be excellent you have to be able to show it painting has to be hung on the wall yeah but definitely in terms of the work itself that is first and foremost yes. and yeah. presentation of course has to be considered too Two of you are curators, so I'm assuming you're used to sort of picking things on your own. Did you find this easier or harder having two other people here saying, eh, maybe your decision isn't... It, it depended. Sometimes there, there was a point of debate and we did spend some time discussing the works and other times 